I would like to begin by thanking everybody for being here. Um, It's touching to see the number of people here because um, Fidel didn't like sleeping alone. Even when he took naps, it was always with people around him in the living room. I'd like to share a, a letter that I've written for Fidel. My love, where do I even begin? read it on her behalf. My love, where do I even begin? A few years ago, I met six, my six-foot Prince Charming. He became the love of my life. My best friend, the best father to our son, Alai. Truly God's gift to me and many. Your generous spirit will go a long way. I've seen it, love, from the flow of guests to our home and messages of love from across the globe. You defied all preconceptions. You made me laugh when I didn't have a reason. You awed me with your wisdom. You melted my heart with your kindness. Your dedication to your people and country was so absolute and real. Always the optimist and ever selfless, gave of yourself for the sake of your friends. I promise to take care of our little prince and keep the culture alive for a lie and teach him Kitgi Gitimbi Luowe. The swiftness of your departure remains shocking for me, but I cannot question God. He called you home, and now I must trust that the living God who gave you to me will look after us. Through my grief, the memories will shine bright, my love. Thank you for those amazing years. A lifetime would never have been enough. Till we meet again, my love, my husband. Thank you very much for listening to us, and may Fidel's soul, may God put Fidel's soul in eternal peace. Till we meet again, thank you. <laughs>